Glad you guys could join me. A long while back, back, I asked you guys, what is this? What is this? Get out. A while back, I asked you guys if you want to see cookie taste test unboxing from like different bakeries that maybe you've never heard about. Christmas is coming. You might want to give one of these as a gift. So, you know, I was thinking you guys are kind of like my sugar daddy because I'll explain, hold on. Because, because since I've started YouTubing and I was able to put ads thanks to y'all, to you guys, not y'all, I was able to make $90 so I could buy these. So in a literal sense, you are my sugar daddies. Like you're paying for my sugar. I was debating on putting on the title if these are considered small businesses or not. I think they kind of are. I mean, they're not like super well known nationwide or something. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so we're just gonna try them. Oh, I did the purging to turn on. It always ruins the vibe. Sorry if there's a freaking buzzing noise. I tried moving you guys away from the fridge, but we don't got a lot we're working with here. So, get sick of it too, trust me. So let's make it a surprise. We're just gonna go through the three. You'll find out what they are as we go. The first one is Sweet Shot Cookies. Yeah, round of applause. Maybe not yet until we try them. These are the first ones I got. I ordered all three of them the same day. These ones came super quick. I mean, they all came pretty quick. These ones came really quick. These are from Chicago. So I think Chicago Nights, Chicago in, Chicago Inns, or whatever you call yourself. This one for you. So this is the OG six pack. I got mostly variety packs because, you know, we want to see, we want to see what they got going on all around. Um, these were like $22 with, oh, these ones, yeah, these ones had expensive shipping. It was like $22 and $18 for shipping. Because the only option for all cookies really is two-day shipping and, ooh, look at this. This is so cute. These are infused cookies, so they're infused. Okay, thank you so much for your order. For the best bite, please follow these instructions. Pre-filled cookies, warm in the oven, 325 for three to five minutes. Okay, so we need to warm these up. This is kind of like the Levain cookies, okay? They smell really good. Hold on, let me turn the oven on, which is gonna expose my lower half, which is... Okay, so... Okay, let's unbox them. Ooh, this is like a really soft quality tissue paper. I'm gonna save this. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I remember the flavors now. Look at this packaging is super cute. So basically they're filled like infused with, I don't even know what you would call it. What do you call it? Let's look on their website. Okay, so they're infused with a whole bunch of different things. And I guess you can order them with like the infuser and infuse them yourself, but I ordered pre-filled. Okay, let's unbox them so you guys can see exactly what they look like. Oh, how should we do this? What's the best way to be organized? So we got chocolate peanut butter. Oh, this smells so good. Look how big this is too. These are decent hunkers. These are hunks, chunks. These are quality, good sized. Okay, so we have chocolate peanut butter Nutella cookie, triple chocolate cookie, butter sprinkle funfetti cookie, taco s'more cookie, cinnamon sugar cookie butter cookie, and sugar pea P and J cookie. So I'm gonna put these in the oven and then we'll try them. Wrapped with extra protection, it's the peanut butter and jelly one. I mean, look at that, that looks good. All right, guys, they're in. I'm putting them in for five minutes. Yep, five minutes. Can I get you anything while we're waiting? Some water. Um, look at these. I'm so pumped. I already feel full looking at these. This is just the first box. Hey, what would a official cookie taster do? I think we need to get some water to cleanse our palates. Water acquired, yes, but it's ready. Okay, I think we should start with my least, least excited for flavor, least flavor I'm excited for. Start with the peanut butter and jelly one. I just don't think I would order that normally, cause like, I don't know. It's the sugar cookie dressed with peanut brittle infused with peanut butter and jelly. Let's try. Just trying to figure out the best way to go at it. Now it's won't comprehend. Go with the filling, go with the edge, I don't know. Mmm, wow. I'm really surprised because I did not think I would enjoy peanut butter and jelly cookie, but I am enjoying it. And it tastes fresh, like warming up in the oven definitely seems to be worth it so far because it tastes, it's working, it's working. Okay, the next one is the Choco S'mores one, I'm assuming, because infused with marshmallow fluff. Whoa. 
Mmm, what the heck? This is so good. Like, I don't really love s'mores flavoring. I mean, of course I eat s'mores, but I don't love it like, you know, I'm committed to it, but this is really good. I'm loving these cookies because they're super doughy and I love doughy thick cookies. So it's really doing the trick. Now let's try this cinnamon one infused with cookie butter. I don't think I've ever tried cookie butter. So we'll see how it goes. Whoa, whoa. Mmm, oh my God. I'm trying so hard right now not to continue eating more than like a bite or two because I don't want to get full. That one is phenomenal, okay? What the heck is cookie butter? I don't even know, but it's good. Guys, we are on a roll. So far, sweet chalk cookies are killing it right now. But we only have two left though. Two left. Just looks like a nice chocolate chip cookie. Oh my God. Really good. It's like an extreme delicious chocolate chip cookie. Oh no, I forgot one. We have two left still. No, we had three left. Now we have two. This one's triple chocolate. Oh boy. This ones are messy. Wow. Last but not least, the Funfetti Butter Sprinkle Funfetti infused with Funfetti Frost. This one is super soft and crumbly, which is making me extremely happy because I just love super soft cookies. That's why I saved it for last. Mmm, it's about to fall through my fingers. Oh my goodness. I feel like the video should be done now because that in itself was enough cookie. Look what I did to them. Look at this, the aftermath. These were amazing. What the heck? Love this idea. I've never had an infused cookie. If you were to get this as a gift, I think it would be super fun because you heat them up and they become like a fresh. I mean, you could heat up any cookie you get, but these ones have like ooey gooey fillings that are meant to be heated up. These ones are so good. All these flavors are really unique and they have a ton of different options. Again, this was just the OG six pack. Okay, let's move along. I don't know if you want to look at my cookie straps any longer. Okay, so these are Maya's cookies. These are all vegan cookies. So I got two vegans, also a six pack of cookies. And these are from California and they, they are a black owned vegan cookie company. So let's see what they got in store for us. And these ones had to come far because I'm on the East Coast. Ooh, love it. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. This. Look at this beautiful pink box. This is super cute. I don't even want to open it. Look at it. All right. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Chocolate chips, snickerdoodle, birthday cake, s'mores, marble fudge, and funfetti. I guess she created these cookies. I'm like picking my nose. I'm not though. She created these cookies because she didn't really find any deliciously soft vegan cookies. And I'm kind of the amateur vegan cookie taster, so I don't really have much to compare the two. Oh my god, six more cookies to try. We can do it. They feel very soft. They look beautiful. I'm taking a better thumbnail before I destroy these boxes. I don't know. Okay, we gotta get another cookie plate. My tummy. Okay, let's start with the s'mores one. So these ones are oh. as thick as the other ones. They look bigger. Look at that. I wonder what kind of marshmallows they're using. Mmm, that's really good. Sorry for the lack of adjectives besides good and delicious. Okay, so so far it's good. It's really chewy soft definitely different not that we're comparing you know what kind of are comparing that's the kind of cookie like these ones are chewy and obviously thinner so they're not super thick they're the perfect they are chewy chewy and soft which is good don't want no hard crusty cookie this one is a marble one we can just dig right into this one because there's no like center mm, that was good chocolate chip Ooh, look how soft this one is i'm already getting a sugar overload feeling very gluttonous Okay, guys, we all know that if you want to tell the bakery is good or a cookie shop, try the chocolate chip cookie. And this is proving to be delicious. I would have no idea that these cookies are vegan. The texture is so satisfying. Like it's buttery and it's so chewy, like perfectly chewy. Having a chewy cookie sometimes without it getting hard, especially after sitting around and being shipped, it's kind of a hard feat to do, you know what I'm saying? So that's impressive. This is a snickerdoodle one. Look, look how small my bites are getting. I'm getting defeated already. Also, can we just point out how pretty these cookies look? Not only are they tasting, living up to their expectations and tasting great, they look so pretty. I never understood people though whose favorite cookie is a snickerdoodle. It just seems like there might be something off with you. That's you. I don't know what it is. 
There's something. Okay, so last do a birthday cake and fun buddy. Oh my gosh. Now this, this one, it doesn't taste exactly how I was expecting one fatty one to taste, but it tastes really good. It's kind of unique in there. Nice flavor. Last one. Birthday cake. <laughs> I don't know why I got so excited. Gosh, this one's falling everywhere. That is thunder. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one. This one is really good. I like the birthday cake more than Funfetti. I don't know. Okay, so Maya's cookies are really good. The presentation was excellent. It would be a great gift. Now we can move on to our last cookie box once I clean this up. And that one only has four cookies, so we'll see. Oh, this one was a sampler collection for $25 with $10 shipping. So all of the cookies kind of ended up being around the same price. Okay. We finished it strong with this one. Let's see, this one has a cute box. It kind of reminds me of milk bar colors. You know, they have like the, the white and pink. So these ones, as you can see, are stopped. It's a pretty big box for just four cookies. So we'll see what it looks like in there. Oh. Ooh, another beautiful presentation. How are we gonna get these out? Okay, so this box, it's very cute. There's our social media. How do you open this? Contrap, oh. Open here, let's follow directions, what do we? Ooh, pretty, look at that. You deserve something sweet. They recommend reheating them too. All right, let me put the oven on. Okay, so this I believe is a female owned company. I think the other, the sweet chocolate cookies are female owned too. I don't know if they said that though. Shout out to my girls making these amazing cookies. So she began making stuffed cookies when she was 22 and launched these cookies, stuffed cookies in 2014. So it's kind of a pretty new company. She's been featured on Buzzfeed, Good Morning, America, LA Weekly. Oh, so these are from California too. It's just killing it. Now these are really cute. They have like a explanation here, freeze them. You can freeze them for up to three months, shelf life, 10 days upon receiving the mail, reheating, feedback. Okay, so let's look at that. A s'mores cookie. I guess everyone loves s'mores. Like, again, it's not my top flavor, but I will eat them, of course. Mmm, this one is new. Chocolate peanut butter dream cookie. Okay, so these are a really decent size. I mean, they're big. Our red velvet cheesecake cookie. I know people love red velvet cheesecake. I'm not really a huge cheesecake person. A Nutella chocolate chunk cookie. They were stuffed in here. Stuff. Ooh, look at this. Everything's like toasted marshmallows. That's really nice. Okay, I'm gonna put them in the oven. And we'll try it. Last one, we gotta push through. I would love to offer you guys a cookie if I could. Sorry, I cannot. Look at these bad boys. Look at them. I can't really show you them sideways. Oh, this one I create your own assortment box. So I, I picked these myself. Why did I go with s'mores? What? I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so this one is s'mores and it's massive. Mmm. Oh my god. Vanilla brown butter, chocolate chips, toasted marshmallow, chocolate ganache, topping graham cracker crumbs. Graham cracker crumbs. Yeah. This is like eating a sandwich. They're super fresh. Like graham crackers. You hear that? That's crunchy still. It's crunchy. Okay, next we'll try the red velvet cream cheese. I don't like cream cheese. I did it for you guys. I did it for you. That's why I ordered it. Oh, my stomach. Oh, it's super soft. Ooh, look at that. This one, I love when red velvets are like really soft. Why are they all so good? It's extremely soft. If you like soft gooey cookies, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. So Nutella chocolate chip. This one also is really soft. Oh my Lord. Look at all that. These things are not even joking around when they're saying they're soft. These are unbelievable. I don't even know what to say. Now this one, chocolate peanut butter dream. You know, this is definitely the closest of all the cookies to probably my favorite flavor of all time. Chocolate and peanut butter. And it's stuffed with chocolate ganache and peanut butter. Basically like a Reese's cup. Oh my God. That one just took the cake. That one is my favorite of all the cookies we tried. I'm gonna explode. I'm gonna explode. That's that. That's all of them. How do you get diabetes? I'm extremely pleased with today's video. One, because I don't really need to clean up anything, which is always a plus. And also, how did we freaking come out like on top with all of these cookies? All of them are good in their own ways. They're all unique. They're all different. So I can't really tell you which one is best. Kind of depends on what you're looking for. Cause again, they're all in the same type of price range, I would say. And even though this one only has four, I mean, they are big. I just wanna thank you guys for making this video <laughs> possible. I kind of want to do more of these. I want to do an Etsy one and I want to do, I don't know, some other ones because it's getting to be gifting season. And you know, I'll try them out for you. I'll, I'll do the dirty work for you to see what you want to buy for people as gifts or yourself. Totally cool with whatever you want to do with this information. But yeah, so that was fun, guys. That was fun. I need to go take some Tums, probably a couple. 
handful and try to recuperate after this. Maybe go on a walk. I don't know. It is snowing. We'll see. So I'll see you guys later. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you later. Have a great day.